Welcome back runners, today we're gonna have a look on the ASIC Sivo Ride 2 after 100 miles. If you missed the initial video review, you can find uh, the link up here. This is a pair of shoes that I bought with my money, no one is paying me for this review. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, consider to subscribe to the channel, uh, activate the notification bell and share the video with your friends. You will support the channel and the community behind and you will see other video on a weekly basis. That being said, uh, I run 100 miles with the new uh, ASIC Sivo Ride 2 and in really few weeks because I really love this shoe since the first time I wore it. Most likely it will be one of my favorite models of this year, which I used in different conditions and honestly I didn't notice any signs of wear. Starting from the household, the household in the forefoot is uh, fully covered uh, um, with rubber so you should be able to get a decent mileage uh, out of the Hevo Ride 2 and after one of the miles uh, looking to heat uh, uh, I confirmed that um, it will last longer. I just noticed few signs of wear in the heel uh, but really minor ones. The spotted foam is still brand new uh, despite I wouldn't dare say that. As usual, I want to remark that my strike is pretty much neutral and um, I run a lot on the treadmill, but this time I run the full 100 miles uh, outdoor and most uh, in the asphalt, uh, so the result after 100 miles uh, is even better than expected. I found the wide heel and forefoot area uh, perfect in terms of uh, uh, stability, even if at the same time the shoe propels you forward thanks to the uh, forefoot rocker. So the shoe gives uh, a great sensation of stability uh, while keeping a great momentum and uh, pushing you to run faster. This is exactly the feeling I was looking for, especially for tempo run trainings. Moving on to the midsole, the midsole is made from only the uh, flight foam. This single density setup uh, and uh, carved profile uh, makes the Evo ride to uh, transition very smooth and consistent. It doesn't have much uh, sinking uh, with every foot stride, uh, which makes the shoe very easy to pick up the pace. And it never was too stiff, even during my first run. After 100 miles, it's still uh, performing great, uh, without any uh, change in the response. The hard internal heel counter uh, didn't annoy me at all, and during the tempo run, uh, gave me a certain feeling of stability, uh, locking my heel in place. Looking to the hopper, the hopper, uh, the laces, uh, the colors, uh, uh, they have not faded. Uh, there are no big signs of wear. Um, so. It looks brand new uh, after 100 miles. The hopper is made of engineered mesh and um, I confirm it is uh, a little bit on the warm side for all the bending around uh, and especially for this huge uh, white tank which doesn't make sense at all uh, from my point of view. Uh, this is only my concern for this shoe. Uh, I mean it is really too much and I'm sure without uh, uh, such kind of tank uh, the lockdown will be uh, even better. With such huge tank, uh, the length of the laces is uh, precise, <laughs> so I would have appreciated uh, uh, slightly longer laces. The shoe fits me uh, through two sides, um, the overall fit was perfect, uh, a little bit of room in the forefoot, uh, which is wide, uh, uh, didn't annoy me at all even uh, during the run in the Wyanart, uh, where the grip surprised me uh, for such uh, slim rubber. So guys, overall I'm really impressed by this shoe, I love to use them especially for tempo run trainings, and even if they are heavier than uh, uh, other tempo run shoes like for instance the Hyperion uh, Tempo they are more versatile because in all conditions and paces I found them uh, performing well even at the slower paces and you know I like such kind of shoe especially when you go running uh, but you are not yet sure about the training you will do uh, they can save your day that's it from my 100 miles uh, review guys I hope you liked the video Please leave a thumbs up so I understand which kind of video you prefer and also for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao.